Welcome to TradeTheNBI.com. This is John's reports for the 16th of July. Well, as we breach new highs, um, we're going to continue to get this back and forth. I mean, it's basically you develop one side against uh, the direction and then you're able to force going back. And find that continues to push up slightly, but again, it's just not a uh, monumental push forward, so to speak, like you would have some of these earlier breakouts where there was an optimism based on uh, economy and virus improvement that was motivating things. Now it's just uh, more about controlling uh, directions. And this is just about finding weak spots and exploiting them. So from an NQ standpoint, back to the EBM and uh, had touched the uh, 61, looking a lot weaker from a shakeout standpoint in that uh, right now, at least uh, you need some short-term buyer support as the uh, long-term, mid-term buyers ease off and actually get a little bit more short interest. People are starting to uh, froth at the idea that, you know, you're going to have a reclosing of things. And if that's the case, uh, it's legitimate that uh, some people are going to want to take uh, some gains and move forward from there because um, if that's the case, we're headed for a lot more uncertainty than not. From a Euro standpoint, of course, strong looking chart a little breakdown here from the uh, steel but that's just about to you know go and fill in a couple of these positive extremes and that will take it all the way back to the just below 113 range and from an oil standpoint just a straight line so it's nice for consistency and if you're purchasing uh, fuel and things like that you're thinking okay with this kind of stability I can live with. Uh, and from a gold standpoint, just getting ready to continue its breakout, uh, particularly as they have to talk about new stimulus. Maybe we're about two weeks away from the benefits ending. And if that doesn't uh, uh, see some kind of renewal or alteration, uh, expansion, whatever, uh, you're going <laughs> you're gonna to see some uh, really unhappy people. Uh, but it's been kind of a mixed blessing because it's, the amount of money that was being given out was more than some people were getting, you know, for actually working. So, um, understanding difficult times, and you certainly don't want to create uh, more havoc than already exists. I mean, um, where we don't see bread lines now, we have car lines. So, getting out food, that's it's an interesting dynamic. From an intraday standpoint, we started with that breakup, um, and then we kind of cruised across, and then here, you know, this is something I was talking about, you know, when you have these... Um, Sign under red situations, and then maybe you get a DOC with the full reset going on. Literally waiting for the crossover is a little bit cleaner. And in this case, the crossover came with the dip, fought back, then it's still continued to go lower. Um, and then it's just a matter of waiting for that turnaround, with the turnaround pop here with the cross below. Um, what's interesting about it is you're coming off of the dip below the red line. So you've got to recognize that the likelihood is, is that you're going to at least attempt the low of that point or more. And I pointed out right here in this one, because it's exactly the same count, uh, condition, where you have a, a turnaround in the power mode two, the crossover, but you're coming off of the deep, deep spread into um, negative territory. Uh, for the uh, extreme histogram. And what that means is that, you know, again, the likelihood of lows testing. So even if you're getting a signal here, I I'm really a little more cautious waiting for that, you know, confirmation here. Now, in this particular case, by the next bar, you already have cyan above green. Um, and that condition right there means I'm looking really to see more of an improvement in, uh, well, even DOC red moving into the plus. Uh, you know, above the negative 13.5. It does that here. Um, what you really would love to see is the kind of cross below of steel and then back of uh, above for kind of a momentum play. Here it takes place without the cross dip and that's why it becomes just a limited uh, movement before you end up getting the cell cross right after the uh, yellow candle, which literally takes place just like that as things start to roll over and it confirms the rollover on the, the dip back to, you know, the lows that had already been, had been cleared from the extreme histogram. Um, from this level, they dropped right at that particular point. So this was just the natural. Usually when you break those uh, lows on a dip below the red line, you'll get that bounce back up to the previous point. 
then it's going to maintain its momentum. In this case, it did not. Um, once we moved further across, though, we ended up getting a much stronger build coming off of a non-dip. You know, so you get the zeros without a dip below the red line. And those tend to have a bit more uh, of a push. You had the same a um, little bit rising uh, movement here from the uh, DOC. Uh, at least you have the green cross right above the negative 13.5. Uh, not quite a turnaround in the yellow, uh, white yet, but uh, the dip of the orange below. So you had the precursors, and of course it gave you plenty of time in this setup because uh, look at that, you trade all the way back down and slightly below it uh, before it finally does the breakout. And it does break out, that's for sure. Uh, it was a pretty good move. Um, and this is what we're seeing. We're giving these 25, 30 point moves um, in a consistent range. Then we ended up getting into some uh, bubble chop here with some interesting ones. This was a unique one. You don't see that very often. I mean, you get this massive push. Um, and then just like rolled over. Of course, it doesn't signal until all the way over here with the crossover to power mo. Um, yes, you can get much more cautious when you get a breakdown uh, below the 13.5, but uh, that's where I'm looking to see did I get a DOC uh, steal the reset. In this particular case, yes, we did. Uh, likewise, we had it uh, coming over here, it came a little early comparative to the uh, orange dip, which to me, that's just uh, one of those where I'm not expecting as much from a momentum play. Um, it turned out to be a lot of points, but usually those are, you know, five, six bar kind of pops before they uh, decay. And then we kind of get the uh, short signal going into the uh, post market here. And you can see from even this configuration right there on the blue candle, um, still was fairly decent with uh, just a lot of chop. Uh, what I like to look for when I'm looking at a buy configuration, I want to see my magenta and green closer together. The closer together they uh, move, the stronger you usually have as a reaction. So you can see over here in this chaos on the left side of the screen where trying to cross, they're heading towards each other, but that's still a little bit more bearish than anything. And it's when they finally crisscross, which is an unusual uh, occurrence anyway because of the positive number becoming a negative, negative becoming a positive. And then you get the transition split right there. And it's that opening split that begins to build um, the momentum for the upside uh, trade. So uh, you'll find that when they meet in these particular areas and then break apart, that's usually where you get your momentum play. So I usually like to go in the direction of the uh, Azure. Uh, the blue line in that uh, motif because it tends to uh, just be a nice movement play. So I just thought I'd throw that one up there because it's worth paying attention to. Because you can see here when we had this blue, um, it, it's not going to show that kind of momentum, which is exactly what it produced. Not to mention the fact you had no uh, steel reset. Uh, didn't change the you know reality of the configurations. The other problem with it too is you failed to get a crossover of. Uh, green above cyan and when that doesn't happen you, you tend to have problems at least needs to cross even if it doesn't hold for a long period of time what you're looking for is that momentum build of in the rising DOC red in it so even here where it crossed stayed crossed for quite some time but in that you moved into a new zone and that led to further movement higher so just extra ways to do it i'm adding these into the coding to uh, help convert some of these so that uh, we just get tighter and tighter all the time which that's the, that's the ultimate goal as always though anything relevant i'll put on skype chat talk to you later